tanto jugando suelto como en competición. Tanto si se trata de un rápido 9 hoyos o de un gran 36. Tanto si juegas bajo presión o arrasando, siempre das lo mejor de ti. Nuevo fue el de Foot Joy. Andrew, the theme of the week's kind of been easy golf. It looked pretty easy from you out there. Uh, what do you felt went right today into you having a 61? Uh, I finally, I, I haven't checked, but I, I finally putted better. Um, made some putts, you know, through the first two, three rounds, I was in the negative there and felt like I was hitting a lot of good putts. Just wasn't really reading the greens right. So it took a, took a few days to acclimate to the surfaces and finally saw some putts going, which was nice. Has it played how you thought it would out there through the weekend now that you're you know, complete with your It's tournament? sort of one of these things that happen out on tour, I think. You know, first round, uh, you know, I thought eight under, nine under would be a really good score. Uh, Munoz posted, posted 12 under. And then just like that, all of a sudden, you know, the, the field looks at that and, you know, we all think it's possible once someone does it. So it, it's not, it kind of seems to be the trend out here on tour. You know, you think six or seven under is a good round, which it is, but some guy will shoot nine or ten, and then all of a sudden you're sitting there like, okay, I guess – That's kind of what the new new par is. Any changes with your putting, a change of putter? Or, or? No, uh, no, I, I really just, uh, Austin and I did some work uh, after the rounds. You know, it's pretty hot, so we didn't do too much, but just was a green reading. Just was, uh, you know, a lot of people were on the property. When I, when I first arrived, said, you know, play less break. Um, and I did that, and then I missed a lot of putts low, and then started missing putts high, and just couldn't get the ball in the hole. But, uh, you know, was able to sort of hole a few more putts in the last 25 holes or so. Do you have a plane ticket to go somewhere Friday? Like, so, are you thinking you're going to miss the cut? I mean, I, I, I don't quit. It's not really in me. Um, even when I miss cuts, I'm still trying my hardest. And, um, you know, I just, that's just kind of how I am. No regrets on that part. So I knew it was going to be a, a trip, a journey to come back. And I'm always up for the challenge. So, uh, you know, when you're so far away from the cut line, like I was on Friday, you kind of just free yourself up. Kind of like today, you just try and make as many birds as possible. And sometimes it goes your way. What do you think this does for you going into next week? Just some, you know, good affirmation. I'm doing the right things. Uh, just positive things for the game. You know, seeing the ball go in the hole, which is a really important thing before a major. Um, and, yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be very different. I heard the surfaces around the greens next week are very difficult to chip. And uh, um, I don't see, you know, if you can shoot 61 around Southern Hills, I think that'd be really good. But uh, it's going to be slightly different. You ever play there? A long time ago, maybe a decade. I'm getting old now, so I think it was in the transmiss way back. Oh, so yeah. I think that was, you know, two course redesigns since then. How'd you do? I, I think I missed the cut, but I ended up finishing inside because there's a storm that came through, uh, and it was like a two-day thing. Okay. So not good. <laughs> Have you ever experienced that kind of a turnaround in one event from, what, three over through five holes to where you ended up? Um... Yeah, I mean, I think there's been several times where I finished uh, on the cut line and kind of made something of the weekend. Um, it's a lot of fun to do, and I think I've, you know, just a lot of tour pros. Uh, growing up, I've idolized, I've seen d them do it. So I, you know, I know it's possible, especially when guys are shooting nothing, you know, the first two days. And you're not going to hang around here? Or I mean, gonna... I, I have a flight, but, you know, I'm going to hang around the house. I don't see it sticking, you know, I think it wins up, but it's. It, These guys are good, you know. Uh, the number was going to be 20, you know, starting at 21. You shoot a decent round, you're going to finish at 25 or 26, so. Can you describe the shot at six? Sorry? The hole out at six. Yeah, it was just a good number. Uh, it was about 100 yards of the pin. It's hot. Off Zoysia, usually it's a sand wedge. Off any other grass, lob wedge out here for me with, with the heat. Um, it being a little downwind, and it was just a really good number. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was, was going to end up pretty close if it didn't go in. El nuevo Pro SL no tiene clavos, pero tiene un agarre increíble. Con una plancha de carbono adicional para optimizar el retorno de energía y un nuevo y moderno diseño, el zapato original de máximo rendimiento sin clavos tiene algunas ventajas importantes.